Hey Stampers, it's Judy Anderson from JudyStamps.com. Today I'm doing a project because I don't want you to miss out on get the opportunity of getting this corner bouquet stamp set for free. You just need to do a qualifying purchase at my online store, which is $50 in the United States, and you can choose this stamp set to receive for free as your free celebration item. Now I am pairing it up with a couple other products in our mini catalog and a product that's going to be coming out on March 3rd. Now this is the True Love Designer Series paper. It's all black and white and you guys know I love black and white. So you have all different patterns, not only the florals on the one side, but then patterns on the back side. I've chosen this polka dot pattern today to use. And then the Corner Bouquet stamp set. Now this stamp set does not have any verses in it, so I have paired it up with the Happy Thoughts stamp set. Now this is a stamp set that was created by one of our million dollar sellers, Jackie Bullheis. And it's got some really awesome verses in it that you could use every day. And it's not the normal everyday verses. It's got today is great because it's all about you, the great person you are, the great things that you do. How about just wanted to send some happy thoughts your way? And uh, the little things you do so well and so often make a big difference to so many people. I love those verses. So we're going to choose one of those. Now I am pairing it up with a product that's coming out, like I said, in March. And that is our Butterfly Bayou. Now I don't know if it's Bayou. It's B-I-J-O-U. I have a feeling it's French, but I don't know how to say it. So excuse me. This paper is six by is a six by six stack stack and it coordinates with the Butterfly Brilliance bundle, which is a stamp set and this wonderful set of dies. You get some detail dies in here and an outline die. Now this die cuts out all these lovely butterflies at one time. Isn't that great? And when you stamp these, you stamp them all at one time. So no more trying to figure out how to stamp them to fit into the die. But what's even more exciting is you can take this die and cut out all these butterflies. Now I have cut out these butterflies. Then I have lined it up along the edges to find out where they line up and I've cut all these other butterflies around the edges. So for instance, this one here goes to here and all I did was lightly cut around them, took a post-it note and lined them up. So what did I end up with? I ended up with all of these beautiful butterflies. Now I have used some of them already on a project that is over on my blog, but see here are the partial ones. And I will use those for along the side of some cards with that in the middle, this here, and this one here. You could even cut a corner out if you wanted or place it on the corner like this and just trim it off. So don't waste any of those. Now today we're going to use this large butterfly and it is Bumblebee. And the colors in the designer series paper are gorgeous. I'm not going to show it all to you today because it's kind of a sneak peek to this product. So I've already cut this out. I've cut a five and a half by eight and a half card base, scored it four and a quarter. Then I have a piece of basic black cardstock, and it measures four and an eighth by five and a quarter three-eighths and then this next layer of bumblebee is just three-eighths smaller. I didn't go the full quarter, I only went three-eighths. And then this piece of designer series paper is three-eighths smaller than that. I should have written the, the measurements down but I forgot. Okay, like I said we're going to be using the corner bouquet stamp set so let's get that going. So I want to stamp the corner bouquet in one of the corners of my designer series paper. So I'm going to line it up onto my 
Stamparatus and get it down really good. I'm going to be using this image today. I may use some of these leaves too, but I'll see once I get the butterfly on. Okay, we're going to place this where we want it to go on our card. So we're just going to push that down to line it up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Versamark pad and I'm going to ink up the stamp. We're going to be embossing this with gold embossing powder today. So we want this good and stamped up. So I may stamp this a couple times and that is why I am using my Stamparatus plus to line it up. This is such a versatile tool that is going to become a staple in your stamping supplies if you don't already have it. So I'm just rubbing it. I am going to lift that up and stamp it one more time. And because my magnets are holding my paper, I can, can be confident that I'm going to stamp in the same over the same images. Let's just rub that down. Okay, let's lift it up. And now we're going to do our embossing. Now you could emboss this with black embossing powder too, but I thought gold would give it a touch of elegance. So let's sprinkle on and watch that image appear as we brush off our embossing powder. Now I did forget to use my Stampin' Bud, my embossing buddy, but I'm confident because this is a thicker embossing powder that it's go not going to stick all over. We'll just tap that down, tap it off real good, and now you're going to hear a little bit of noise because I have to start my heat gun. Yep, close up my Versamark pad, blow any loose particles off, and let's heat this up. When we heat it up, I start at one location and just hold my heat tool there. Once it starts melting, the embossing powder, I move my heat gun. It is done. Now by doing heating my embossing powder that way, I have less burning on my embossed images. Now I'm going to place my butterfly on here. And this is where I'm going to determine if I want to do some more leaves poking out the side. I could even do a little bit of flowers out the side, which I think I'm going, no, I'm going to leave it like it is, just on one corner. Okay. So now I'm going to grab my Stamparatus, empty my powder back into my container, get this plug out. I cut off all my nails, so I have none to pull this out. This is a handy tool. We don't carry these anymore. You'll notice it says Stampin' Up! on it. This was a re is a retired product from years ago. Okay, I'm going to remove my corner bouquet and I want to put my words on here. So once again, I'm going to line this up. Make sure it's straight and pick out a sentiment. I think I'm going to do the thank you and I think it's going to look good right down here and then this will be highlighted. So we're just going to put that right there making sure that it's straight. Grab my Versamark pad again and stamp this. Because these are finer lines I am going to grab my embossing buddy stamp or ink up our stamp and stamp it. Just press it very evenly to get a good coverage. Lift that up. I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle some embossing powder on. I love to heat emboss. If you want to wow your friends, this is a technique that you want to do.
There we go. We didn't get good coverage the first time, so I sprinkled more on. Just blow that off a little bit and heat that up. Now you don't want to heat this image up, so you want to have your heat going away from that image. So quick. Just like that. Okay, let's start putting our card together. The card is fairly simple. Let's grab our basic white. Use our bone folder to burnish that score line. We'll grab our liquid glue and attach our basic black layer. And you're going to notice it's a very slight reveal around the edges. Okay, let's grab our bumblebee, which is one of my favorite colors. How many of you like yellow? Yellow is, to me, is such a cheerful and happy color. And you can't help but smile when you see something yellow. Except the kids don't smile too much when they see the school bus sometimes. Okay, let's layer our designer series paper on there. Like I was saying, if you want to wow your friends, do heat embossing, you guys. They will be amazed that you can do that and get that effect on your cards. Something very simple, but has such a wow factor. Okay, so we have that on there. Let's get our butterfly. Now on our butterfly, I want it to have a little bit of bling too. So I'm going to take my Wink of Stella and just brush over the wings a little bit. It doesn't have to be fully covered. It will get the glistening effect. Just like that. Okay, we're going to take our bone folder and we're going to curve our wings up just slightly. Just like that. Let's grab our mini Stampin' Dimensionals and we'll adhere two of these on there. And we will put this up in this corner. So how quickly this card goes together. You didn't have to color your butterfly. Just like that. Isn't that gorgeous? Now you can, could add a little bit more to it by taking our gold faceted gems and scattering some around. Let's grab some. I'm going to use the small ones. And I just want to add some bling around our butterfly. I can't wait for the butterflies to get into our gardens this year. I love watching butterflies. We'll do this one down here. And let's poke this one right down here. Just like that. So a simple card, let's go to the inside and finish our verse. So this has thinking of you, and I think on the inside I am going to put the little things you do so well and so often make a big difference to so many people. Which is this one right here. And we are going to do it, you could emboss it, but I am just going to do it in memento ink. ink this up. So as you can see, this designer series paper, the Butterfly, Butterfly Bayou, is gorgeous. And it can make your stamping go so quickly. But I do want to warn you, this is a special offer only during the month of March. It will not be in the annual catalog. There we go. So, our card is complete. I hope you enjoyed my video today, and until next time everybody, happy stamping!